Hey everyone, so I'm going to be doing a little video on how to export individual clips um, in the case where you're making a demo reel and you have imported, um, uh, opened different projects and imported the clips uh, by copying them into your sequence. So um, if you're making a demo reel or you need to export out clips to be able to use for any other project, like you're making a stock library of clips, um, this is a quick way to do it, to export those individual clips from a timeline with the effects included. So um, first you want to have your project open. Um, and so say I've got these clips here. So this is from a video I had made um, and then I cut out the different pieces that I liked the best, the different clips I thought showed off my work the best. And so I've laid them into a timeline here. Um, so the first thing I want to do is I'm going to set up a little shortcut. So you're going to go Premiere Keyboard Shortcuts. And we're going to look up uh, Nest. And for Nest, I'm going to just put it under N. So you're going to click uh, on your search here, type in Nest, and it's going to say Clip Nest. You're going to click and hold and drag it to the N and see it replaced it. And now it says Nest, and we're going to click OK. So once that's done, uh, what you're going to want to do is select the clip. So um, if I had effects on these videos, um, if you do it the normal way uh, without nesting, you won't get the effects exported. So um, we're going to nest these so that we get the effects applied. So if this clip had effects on it, I push N. And this is, I'm just going to um, push OK. And let me go through the rest of these. Okay, so now over here you can see I'm going to make a new bin um, with nested clips. And you can go and rename these things, uh, whatever they are. So this one I might be called intro or something or sleeping girl. Um, but I'm going to take these and put these into that nested clips bin that I just made. Um, from there you want to shift, uh, click, and then hold shift and click to the bottom. And we're going to go file project manager. Um, or you can export, I guess. So, uh, so you could technically you could export from this point. Um, what I've seen in the past, the other way to do it is you go file uh, project manager and consolidate and transcode individual clips. Um, and then it would be those nested sequences. Um, or you could do fun. And I, I believe that'll also export each of these nested sequences as well. So it's the same way. Um, one thing you want to do is take off the handles here to include handles 24 frames. Uncheck that. Um, you can, let me see what else there is. Uh, set up individual clips, format. Uh, I would do uh, ProRes, so QuickTime, Match Source, Apple, Apple ProRes 422. And then we'll change the destination to uh, desktop. And I'll call it um, stock footage. And you can call it whatever folder you want it to be. So choose. And I would click OK. Um, since I'm going to just do it the export way, so I'm going to go file export media. And this is basically the same way you would export. Um, let me make sure I got these close selected here. So click, shift. Uh, put, hold shift, click the bottom, and that'll select them all, export media. Then we're going to go up here to uh, QuickTime for the format and ProRes 422. Um, it's funny, uh, let's do regular Apple ProRes 422. Um, then we're going to go down to video, make sure our settings are right. Effects, check our effects. Just want to make sure. Okay. So we're going to queue it. And this will render or get ready to export each of these eight nested sequences. 
into our uh, folder. So I'm gonna select them all, navigate to our folder we were talking about on the desktop. It was called uh, stock, I believe, stock footage choose. I'm gonna play that. And then it'll go through and export each one of those clips individually with the effects applied so that you can later on build a stock library of say you have different field shots or sky drone shots, cityscapes, um, random people walking on the street, different uh, genres and folders for those stock purposes. So when you're building a project later on or when you're building your demo reel, you don't have to go and open up those projects and re-export those clips or find those clips and re-edit them. This saves you a ton of time. Um, so I'm gonna go, once this is done here in a second, I'm going to go to desktop and stock, stock footage, and you can see these clips have been exported with the effects applied and they're all ready to go drop into a new timeline and set up your project for your demo reel or whatever you're working on. So quick way to do it. Hopefully that helped. Uh, thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe and comment any other video tips you're looking for or if you have questions. Um, I'm getting kind of bored, so I'm looking for things to do. Thanks again. Uh, again, subscribe. Thank you.